John done a couple of duggets. <laughs> Oh, no. A lot of, lot of play. Dead. It's in the RH9 club, did like sub nine seconds in the 90s. Right, I'm gonna go get public transport. Hello you beauties, don't forget I've got the S15 competition closing this Friday at midnight. So it's your last chance to get your tickets, you can win it for as little as 79p. 85% of tickets have already been sold, the car is fantastic condition, you're really not gonna find a cleaner S15, it's worth probably about £30,000. Got a brand new GT2871 R Turbo on it. Make sure you check out Monkey London Comps. We're going to be doing a live draw over the weekend, and one of you will be literally be taking the keys. We're also going to be including a few cheeky drift lessons if some of you guys want to kind of hone your skills a little bit. Guaranteed winner, guaranteed norms. Do it by receive the power. Whoa. Yes, yes, you lovelies. Welcome back to the Donkey London channel. We've got Mr. Donkey. We've got the trusty party bus. Sick. And then we've got the Brian James trailer in tow. And we've got the S15 on board. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that in a sec. John is basically the uh, one word answer needed for that. taking the S15, well, obviously I bought it from Connor and lovely Sophie. Did do a bit of John action it the other day and um, we think the VVT Sprocket has done a, a Fox Trot Oscar basically. Uh, not a bad thing, I mean it's the old one testing it let's be honest, if it can survive John. Yeah, oh no. A lot of, lot of play. Dead. I'm raffling it as well, 70% of the tickets are sold now so please check out Monkey London Comps, make sure you get involved and grab some of the last tickets, buy some tickets on the, on the Galanza. And I'm also giving a, a way a day out with me and the JZX as well, which will be pretty sick. John will do some duggets. So yeah, there's lots of cool comps on the website, so please check it out. Once we've finished up at Connors and the S15 sorted, I'm going to be taking the party bus to race space sport homes. They're a very, very sick uh, motorhome specialist. Some of the homes they make are literally on another scale. So they're going to be keeping it for two, three weeks to do a few bits to it. Once I get to uh, race space, I'm going to be dropping the van off and then taking the S15 off. You sure about that? I've got some really sick reviews coming up. I'm making super sexy for you, super cinematic. So yeah, if you guys can just get behind the raffles, it doesn't matter about the views. Uh, but yeah, just get behind the raffles, give me a little bit of help with that. And I promise you now, I'll bring you next level content. Hello. Hello. Look at where we are, man. Back in the beautiful Cornish countryside. John done a couple of duggets. It's called stress testing. <laughs> stress testing it. And now whoever gets it gets a reliable car. Exactly, yeah. So we think it's just a VVT sprocket, don't we? But Yeah, it's an old engine. Like, is it, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. That's like God's motor, though. S15 is in the workshop, and then this is cool, this is one of your customers, it's the original endless R32 GTR. Yes, as far as I'm aware, it was one of the fastest GTRs back in the 90s, it's in the RH9 club, did like sub 9 seconds in the 90s, which, obviously which was like a special like, Japanese a big deal, club, yeah. everything under sort of 9 seconds, that was it. Yeah, yeah, that was, you was the man basically in Japan back then, so. It's literally crazy. Before we go on to all the other cool Jap stuff you got, you got a uh, VW Caddy. That's 1.816 valve in that, like you're either into Jap or you're into German when you're younger. He was into German, got to do all the wiring and get it all ready. He's going to put his motorbike bike in the back. Got Link, Issue Master Dash, nice. got all the bits and bobs on that. Other bits and bobs, little 2871 bottom mount, so no crazy power made, like 380 wheel. But it seems like, I watched the video of it, it does rip to be fair. Yeah, it goes, it goes well. real well. This over here is Sophie Carpenter's R34, so it's ER34 yep. four door. Yeah, but it's a two litre NA auto. Eventually that's going to have an engine of some description. It's going to be an oddball one. Okay. Um, 
it'll be Nissan platform, but it won't be anything you'd expect. It's conventional, yeah. yeah cool. Something that's not been done yet is what my plan is. Yeah, it, so. This is cool. R32 GTR, we said it's one of the cleanest ones you've literally ever seen. I think seen. that's probably the cleanest GTR I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen a fair few at this point as well. Yeah. Not that the other ones aren't as clean, but this one's just like all the little bits that are normally never right, like the bolsters and all the little trims and all this, it's just all immaculate pucker. through and through. Like underneath it's got all the stickers on it still, everything's all just pristine. Sorry. What is that? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that little... I can't even work it out one sec. What because it's got no like, front on end on it. What is it? Oh it's a Corsa, Corsa van. Yeah. Yeah yeah. A little, that's a little works beater van that we're in the thing do, but everything seems to turn into a project. It was supposed to be a quick little thing and now we're painting it and messing around with it. So stupidly, but that's just a day for another day. S15. S15, this is this is fun kit. Should we open the bonnet and have a little look around that? Nice man. Where's the rear screen gone? There was an instant with a garden shed. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. So, sizable Garrett Turbo. That has got a 3770 on it. Sick. So that should rip. It's got all the nice bits, Ross trigger kit, rods, pistons, all worked head and stuff. It's got all the bits and bobs, so yeah. it should rip to be fair. What sort of power, 500-ish? Yeah. And in this car, I'm a massive Pulsar advocate. I really do like a, a Sunny, is this Sunny GTR or original Pulsar? GTIR. Yeah. So oh, man. Built like that. It's got a Pulsar turbo going on it as well, which I think is quite fitting for the fact that it's Sick. Pulsar. As you know about Pulsars, trying to keep the gearboxes in it is the biggest yeah. battle of, it, of all of Very it. So chocolate. He's not chasing big power. He just wants to be able to go and drive his car again and like not have three, good fun with it. 350 maybe? Yeah. 400 horsepower mark is where you're just into guarantee breaking a box every yeah, two seconds. So for sure, man. Carbon boot, carbon, carbon bonnet. Carbon spoiler. We're going to line all of it up properly and get all the latches on and stuff like that. So but it's on the final stages now. We've just got to do all the turbo set up and stuff and should be there. Look at this bad boy. One of you is going to be taking the keys and driving this bad boy home very soon. Super clean this car. We obviously showed you a little presentation in the last video and I'll do a proper video with turbo noises and all sorts of mandem driving. We're going to get Ali on the channel. Done your makeup. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ali's cool as well, he's got a Sora 1JZ with a R154. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. As you can see, we just whipped the, um, the rocker cover off and um, Connor's replaced the uh, VVT sprocket. JZX is in motion, we're just basically waiting for Radium. They're sending us a fuel cell so we can kind of tidy up the rear and redo the fuel system a little bit. I've got a JZX100 tank in there at the moment, which is okay, but obviously the fuel cell is going to take it to another level. So yeah, once that comes, we'll do a few more videos on the old girl. On this you'll put in a one and a half cas. One point five cas nice one. Right? They're nice little diffs, they're affordable. Yeah. Good little step into it. But we've done the um, sprocket and we just started it up and there was a small little rattle still. So Connor's kind of gone round it and we realised that John has also destroyed the turbo. Yeah it's oh, got no. a lot of lot of play. Dead. It's almost pretty much touching the uh, housing, isn't it? What's the best bet from here? Should we just, because I've actually, I know the guys at Midland well, Turbos, we could so send it there and rebuild it, or we could just stick, we could get a nice T28 for it, another one. What do you think? We'll take that one apart and check. If the housings are good, then if you're friendly with them, then get it sent off and get it rebuilt. Because yeah. the thing is, if you buy another one, the It'll second the same hand. same shit again. So it, you never know how it's been treated, what mileage it's had, whether yeah. it's had an oil pump dye or anything like that. So it's probably a safer bet to take this one off get it sent up there, get it turned around, and then at least you know whoever has it, it's gonna do them well. Right, I'm gonna go get public transport. Bye. Piss bump. Thanks for the th uh, thumbnail clickbait. That's okay. And piss bump to you. Right, I'll see you guys in about three days with a fresh turbo. Have fun on the train. Sick. One hour later. Right, Leo, how much of a rush are we in? <laughs> Pretty rushed. We should have left about five minutes ago for the yeah. train. So yeah, Leo's part owner of Race Space. Look at this, quilted leather. And it smelt the sm obviously you can't smell it on camera guys, but this smells absolutely ream. Roof light, is it Alcantara? Yeah. Oh my god, bro. I'm almost embarrassed to show you my van. <laughs> and then well, can we quickly look at this yeah, one before we go? Oh my god. Yeah, you can see where it is. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see you're still doing bits to it. But What's the uh, the, the fan for? Just to pull the air out. Yeah, it extracts some bloody airs in. Man, this is so sick. It's all like, um, what's this kind of material here? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a slate effects. Yeah, like slate and then like piano black, like taps. Yeah. And I'm, get, I'm guessing your toilet doesn't leak like mine. Proper shower. Look at this. And proper like spotlight. Are these all LED spotlights? Yeah. And look at the size of that rear window. I thought my van was pimped until I came here. I mean, it is pretty sick. For, for a pleb like me, it's pretty cool. Yeah, once we come back in a few weeks, we'll really show you guys what's uh, what race space is all about and hopefully i'll have a, a better better van yeah savage man this is the back i see it's like aluminium clad mine has got aluminium in it but it doesn't look yeah. quite like this and can you access the uh yeah, you, can, you can go through yeah this is next level and then in here is a sneak little peek of the 
workshops. They've got, um, I think this is a crafter, or is it a sprinter? This is a sprinter as well. It's actually the same as my shape. You've got two workshops. What's this, a, cra a crafter? Yeah, Oh man. We haven't got a lot of light tonight, but yeah, look what we're going to the station in. This is Leo's S2000, complete with N keys. So if you guys can kind of make it out. I need to really get a light for this camera, but yeah, this is a sick lit whip. You know I love my VTEX. How was your first time on camera? <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> you had a very hectic monkey turning up, but yeah, massive thanks for sorting the van out. Obviously, like I said, we'll go through it properly when we come back. Yeah. And um, and no illegal driving on the way home. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty sick. Didn't expect to go in the uh, old S2K. I, mean, yeah, I, can't, I can't lie, them, them vans they're doing, they're next level. Um, yeah, like I said on the sort of in the car park, my van's not bad. I actually got it for a really good price. The guy I bought it off actually won it in a raffle, um, so I managed to get actually ten grand off it. And all them vans have gone sort of crazy money now because, like I said before, a lot of people are doing these staycations, and the race vans are quite rare because um, they're really sort of built for people who do like um, yeah. I mean, they are built for people who do sort of regular motorhome. I mean, for the most part, people who do motocross and and race events that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, some of the the finish and stuff on there on the vans they're doing in the uh, in the workshops and outside the workshop are, are really on next level. Really nice to catch up with Connor earlier on as well. And um, yeah, make sure you give these guys a follow as well. We do get a little bit restricted with views and stuff, so um, see so yeah, any help with these guys. Yeah, they're very kind to kind of get on board and help the old spunky London. Um, so yeah, I'll chuck Connor's uh, CM Customs down here and then um, and race space as well make sure you give them a little follow a any help really appreciate it doesn't take sort of two minutes to do it and then they're worth checking out as well especially if you've got a, a japanese car um yeah cm customs are very good at what they do and um yeah same thing with race space i'm looking forward to kind of showing you what they can uh, what they can kind of do with these vans it's my train baby Woo send it